banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to a special classic game room extension of Sequel Week, where I'm reviewing one of the biggest sequels in history. This is Halo 2, which features one Master Chief and two machine guns on the cover. He's too legit to stop shooting aliens. I'll tell you what, if you ever get a chance to see video games live, do it for the Halo theme done with an orchestra alone. Hopefully they're playing it that night. Understood. Over the target in five. It gave me chills the last time I saw it. I love the music in this game. If anything steals the show from the action in Halo 2, it's the music. Because it sure isn't the plot. I couldn't care less. I think the best part of the plot of Halo was the first 10 minutes of the first game. After that, I was confused for the... How, what are they up to now? Like Halo 15? If you include all the other ones. I don't know. I'm still waiting for Halo vs. Street Fighter. But this is Halo 2. Even more Halo. Actually, it doesn't have a subtitle. Just Halo 2, released in 2004. For the play, I mean, the Xbox. So it is. If this had a subtitle, I think that even more Halo would do it. Or Halo 3 Lite. Because that's pretty much what it feels like. It feels like a rough draft of Halo 3. Which came out a few years later on the Xbox 360. And that's a compliment, the Halo series is a great series of games, but this came out in the days right before it seemed like the entire game industry just gave up hope. And started churning out sequels for the sake of making sequels. Although that being said, I think Halo ODST is, is still my favorite. Many people will disagree with that, but that's alright, I don't care. Before the hands of corporate greed squashed creativity in favor of predictable sales figures, Halo 2 delivered everything that fans of Halo 1 wanted and more, particularly in the area of multiplayer. This is Xbox Live enabled and as many of you know it was popular for, for years and years and years and years and years and years after its release. I think it would still be played online today if they hadn't, uh, what, cancelled it by now? Didn't they do that? As a PlayStation 2 guy, I never got into this when it was new, but revisiting it now many years later, I played this back in the day with some friends. It's an impressive game that definitely fits in between the first and third Halo. Sequentially it does, so that was an amazingly stupid statement, but true nonetheless. I'm playing it here on Xbox, 360, it's incredibly cheap to pick up these days. The question is, should you play Halo 2? Well, if you like the plot of Halo, of the Halo series, then yes, you most definitely should, because there's a lot of plot here. You get to play as Master Chief and the Arbiter. You'll find a new Halo, because the Halo was always, you know, the cool thing in Halo. It was named after it. The enemy ship has stopped above the ring, ma'am. We're going to pass right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the Prophet of Regret. The what of the what? Uh, uh whatever. There's, there's a halo, let's blow things up on it. This music combined with tanks, very good. Like the backgrounds too. Well, well maybe not the, these particular backgrounds, but most of the environments look really good. Visually, it's a solid game, it plays well, it plays like Halo, they all pretty much play the same. Nice sound design, incredible music. Re the music just steals the show, I think. Jackass. Cooperative gameplay, and I, I didn't try to play multiplayer, but I enjoyed Halo 3 a lot back in the day, and I assume they learned something from this game to make Halo 3's multiplayer as good as it was. Mm -hmm. 
The big question I need to ask everyone is, would the world be better off had the series been called Floaty Space Ring instead of Halo? Don't make me take off my belt. You secure those pants, Hudson. Stand back, Marines. Let the chief show you how it's done. Grab a friend and play some local multiplayer. Double fist some weapons. Halo 2 is a great ride if you enjoy the other Halo games. If you're playing them for the first time, I would start with the first game, to be honest. It's also pretty cheap and easy to find. They sold like a trillion copies of them. In some areas, it improves on the first game, in others, it loses some of what made the original Halo so good. But as far as I'm concerned, fans of sci fi shooters should most definitely enjoy Floaty Space Ring 2, the prequel to Floaty Space Ring 3. Inbound on your position. 